due respect, Mr. Slade, I've come to work on time for 18 years, never took one sick day, and you're gonna start him at a dollar more an hour than you pay me? How is that fair? You think I'd work for less than some colored man? His father. I owe him a favor. Oh, yeah, I know. Everybody around here owes the Hofstetters a favor, and this one can't tell the difference between a lampshade and a light socket. Hey, watch your mouth, boy. Yeah, right? Wow. Don't whisper. Wow, take me back. Yep. That's, that's almost 10 years ago. That's nine years ago you did Such that. Such an important episode, yeah. really is. Uh, yeah, Ghost Whisperer, a really great show, and I like to align myself with stuff that, that deals with a little bit of justice, mm -hmm. has some kind of key of, of um, looking at ourselves in real life situations, and Aaron was certainly great in it, and boy, that just moved me to see that. I, re I remember you know, dying at his hands in, in, in that particular alley. We beat the crap out of each other, and he missed once and got me with a two by four in the back of the head, and I missed once and slammed his head into the cement. But we were both, <laughs> we were both conscious people, even at that time, and it, you know, we had to cry it out at the end of a long night of beating each other up. We wound up in each other's arms just crying some tears for all, you know, this is a, like a real life situation where this could have happened. It's, in such a, uh, it's such an interesting way to experience one's masculinity in somebody else's, because when you're raised, especially in certain neighborhoods and with certain realities, that masculinity means one thing. Mm -hmm. that the idea that after a fight, let's cry this out. That's, yeah. that's what, you gotta get to that place, don't you? I think you do. I, I think we're in our society where men are told that they're not allowed to have feelings, not allowed to cry, not allowed to share. There's a reason I have four daughters. I have four daughters ranging from 17 down to 10. And my youngest is coming to a fine arts school to live with me in Austin, Texas while I shoot. And uh, I couldn't be happier because that, that female attitude is very important to balance our male, our masculinity in so many ways. If you're paying attention, if you're not paying attention, then you tell, you know, I tell my little girl to shut up and go away, but, uh, you know, leave me alone. That will cost <laughs> you down the road. Yeah, that will cost you. It will you. cost you. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm, as a reason I have girls, I've been able to see um, that softer side of my own self. Mm -hmm. And whenever that masculine guy comes up that, that is so resistant to suggestion, uh, I sort of try to really open my eyes and my heart and to go, there is another way.